Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Freewheeling. So today, in honour of it being National Mental Health Awareness Week, I'm out and about getting some sunshine. I've taken a step away from my desk and the hurly-burly of work just to get some fresh air and go for a little walk around the block. And I think that's kind of an important thing because it gives me a second just to take a time out and talk to you about one of the most important subjects and that is your mental health. So it's Mental Health Awareness Week here in the United Kingdom. Um, and and that doesn't mean we can't talk about it if you're in the United States. I know you guys have a different week, but I just have come across three pretty useful resources that I think you will get some value from, uh, regardless of whether you feel great and you're happy as Larry, or you feel like the world's fallen in your shoulders. Um, these resources are things that I feel like could be of value to you. So the first thing is a podcast I did when I first started Blunt the Section with two really cool people. One is Dr. John Dooley, um, who I have to say was super courageous to come in and talks about his struggles with mental health and his, you know, the, his um, challenges and and his, you know, he he was suicidal and has survived um, that stage of his life and was courageous enough to talk about that. And also in the podcast we had uh, the amazing Dr. Nadine Hamilton. Um, who works, she's a psychologist who works exclusively with the veterinary profession, both colleagues from Down Under, and we had a great discussion. So check out that episode of Blunt the Section podcast. Um, it's called Let's Talk About Veterinary Suicide. So you can get that on SoundCloud or on iTunes or wherever you consume your podcasts. Resource two is by one of my role models, uh, and that is the awesome um, Dr. Tim, oh, he's not a doctor. <laughs> I just made you a doctor, Tim. Um, Tim Ferris. So Tim um, is one of my inspirations and the reason I do Blunt Section podcast. And so he actually um, wrote a great article about his struggles with suicide um, uh, when he was at university and what that looked like for him and, and what that nearly cost him and what actually snapped him out of that, that thought process, that vicious cycle that he ended up getting himself into and how he was able to um, work with that, deal with that and get his life back on track. It's an amazing article. I think it's something you would benefit greatly from reading. It's highly insightful. Whether or not you feel like you're at risk or you manage people, I feel like that's, you know, they'll look into the thought process that is going on when people get themselves into or find themselves in a, a state where suicide seems like a perfectly reasonable option um, is borderline chilling to sort of experience. Um, you, you, you just, it's one of those things from my conversations with people who have ended up in that situation is that it's something that can just seem the most normal decision in the world um, when you end up in that place. So Tim's article is really insightful, but it's also instructive um, because he offers a lot of great resources on um, and, and tools and frameworks for how you can manage yourself and work with people. Some really interesting side in articles and things um, to help you if you're in that moment of need. And then the third resource um, is something I was only became aware of recently. And that was, I'd say, another of my podcast guests, um, Dr. Sheila Robertson. Hello, Sheila. Um, call sign Dr. Freaking Amazing. Um, Sheila has just completed a, it's called a QPR course. Um, and that this is basically a suicide triage course. And I think for any of us tasked with managing other people or, or even if you just want to be able to help, like what happens if you're worried about a colleague or somebody comes to you, like how do you handle somebody? How do you talk them off the ledge, uh, you know, figuratively and, and metaphorically? Um, how do you do that? And that's a, that's a skill set which can maybe seem scary or overwhelming. So the QPR Institute um, is something that you have a place that offers courses and training for people in how to handle people. And just, you know, just those little points of awareness, those interactions, maybe they're things that can make a difference to you if you're struggling. And maybe they can help you to make a difference to somebody else if they're struggling. So there you go. That's the blog for this week. Um, look after yourselves. Um, all of the links to everything I've mentioned are either going to be in my bio or on the blog beneath. Depends where you're consuming the content. But the links will be nearby and at hand. So make use of them. Uh, and you know, you guys look after yourself.
You're awesome. All right. Be safe. Be well. Be happy. Dr. Dave out.